Hey everyone, welcome back. This is going to be another Gravit Designer tutorial, and this one I'm going to show you how to use the awesomely mighty pen tool. So I'm going to go ahead and just start off with a um, generic sized canvas. When I don't know what size canvas to make, um, I typically come up here and I'm going to do a 10 inch by 10 inch square canvas. So just make sure over here it doesn't say pixels and that it says inches and click on create. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So um, you're going to come up here and this is the pen tool right here. If you click on the downward arrow, you'll see that there are a couple other tools hanging out here, but we just want the pen tool. So when you come out here, you're going to left mouse click once and you're going to lay down your first anchor point. And then you lift up on the left mouse button and you can see that there's a line attached to your to your pen cursor. Um, so I can just keep left mouse clicking and moving around and I'll make some straight angled lines. Now if you just move around you will see that it actually snaps to a vertical line or it'll snap to a perfectly horizontal line and the cool thing is is that if you line up with another anchor point it'll actually let you know that you're exactly in line with it so that's really handy and then you can just click and you know you're good to go so you can do that so that's that's really nice if you need to make very straight angular lines you can also hold down the shift key and the shift key is a much easier way it'll just snap to horizontal 45 degree angle um, or vertical and so you can just kind of shift click shift click and you can really go around so if straight lines or perfectly angled lines are important you can do that as well so that's very cool um, when you're done making your shape the ultimate goal is to come back to the very first anchor point that you did and you want to click back on it and you'll see a little tiny circle indicating that you are about to make a closed shape so when I click I've now made a closed shape now it doesn't look very different but because it's a closed shape I can now come over here and where it says fills I can click on it and I can go ahead and choose any color I want and you'll see that I've got a uh, filled shape okay now now that I've got a filled shape I can come up here and I can go to the uh, pointer tool okay this is basically just the selection arrow it allows you to move things around so under the pointer tool I want you to pay attention to the first two pointer and sub select pointer will move the whole shape around okay so maybe I put it in the wrong spot it'll also allow me to you know scale down the entire shape I can even rotate the entire shape okay but let's say I want to go back and I want to edit the shape that's where you're going to click and choose the sub select tool and it's the letter D on your keyboard okay now you'll see that I can get in here and I can actually click and manipulate those vector points and I can shape this any way I want and this is the awesome thing about vectors is that you know the paint never dries <laughs> um, and so this is really cool now when I'm in this kind of edit mode um, I can do a whole bunch of things so let's say I want to get rid of that vector point I can just click on it to select it and then press delete on my keyboard and it's gone Now, now that I'm done editing, so that's how you delete a point. You just click on it, hit delete. But what if you want to add in a point? Let's say I wanted another vector point down here in between these two here. Well, what you do is you simply go back up and grab the pen tool, put your mouse pointer right, you know, about where you want it in the middle there until you see the pen tool with a little plus button. And you simply left mouse click once and you'll see that a new point has been added. Now I can click on, go back and click on the um, sub select pointer, and I can click and I can drag that around. Okay, so there we go. Now, if you have the sub select pointer selected and you put your mouse pointer in between two points, you'll see this little wavy line. And if you click and drag, you'll see, whoa. You're actually dragging out a, um, a curve between the two, which is really handy. 
Um, I'm going to get in later to working with um, curves because that does make things a little bit more complex. Um, but that's kind of cool. So you, again, you can do that between any of these shapes here. Remember, if you do, um, and now you're wondering, how do I go back to straight, um, a straight edge? You can always do um, Control Z and undo. You just keep undoing. And there you go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, finish up here. Um, over here on your layers, you'll see your path. So you can always click on it, select it, and just delete it out if you need to. And the last little tip that I want to give you is when you are drawing with the pen tool, if you decide that you really need to edit a point while you're in the middle of drawing, what you can do is you can press and hold down the letter D and that gets you the sub select tool temporarily. And so I can come up here and I can click and I can drag this, you know, way up here, something like that, and say, okay, yep, that's that's more of what I was going for. And as soon as I let go of the letter D, I'm back in um, drawing mode. And so now I can continue and I can go like this, and go like that, and again, hold down D, make my edits let go of D and I'm back in draw mode. Um, again, you don't have to do that. I find for a lot of students it's easier to just finish the shape. Once you're done with the actual shape, then you can press D, get to the tool, and now you can just really focus on making edits. Um, it's a lot easier for beginners so they can just focus on the task at hand um, and not you know, deal with too much going on at once. All right, this is gonna be it for this video. In the next little video, I will show you how to do curved shapes with the pen tool. Thanks everyone.